Where Mama Says, where I talk about tips, tricks, and product reviews for parents. You can subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram or check out my blog that has even more things than my YouTube channel does. Today I'm talking about a DIY project. So this is for your kids' artwork display. Um, so we have a playroom now in our new house and we have like this big empty wall and I thought it'd be really fun to do um, a kid's artwork display there even though my son is, he's 18 months old. So unless you count like little chalkboard scribbles as art, he's not quite there yet. But again, this big blank space is just waiting to be filled and I figure he will be making art one day soon. So I might as well go ahead and get a jump start on that. So I went ahead and made them and I'm gonna show you how to make them today. So what this is, is you have a, an old frame, you paint it, you put a wire through with little baby clothespins and you hang up your art. This is obviously fake kid art because again, my son doesn't make art yet but this kind of gives you the idea of what it will look like. So these art frames are really cheap, super easy to do, and let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll need are some old picture frames with the glass and the back removed. I got all of mine from the thrift store and actually most of them were just frames, didn't even have the glass in yet. You will need some chalk paint. You can do all one color, you can do a rainbow of colors. I decided to do sort of a blue theme. You will also need paintbrushes. So I have a chalk paint paintbrush because I've painted a lot of furniture with chalk paint and I love it. You will need fishing line. These little, they're called um, eye screws. You'll need mini clothespins, a hammer, a ruler, a pencil, and scissors. And now it's time to paint. by a company called Waverly, which is at Walmart, and it's called Ocean. And then I ended up going back in all the crevices. I added some antique wax stain and just kind of put it on and then would rub it with a, um, a paper towel to just kind of make it give it a more faded look. And I feel like it helped to add a little more dimension to it. Totally optional. I just kind of like that look. So now that the frame is painted, it is time to put the little eye screws in and then string up the clothespins. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a whole gallery wall of these little art picture frames. And so it's kind of a good idea beforehand to kind of lay out what you want it to look like. So you know if you're gonna be doing, um, oh my goodness, horizontal or vertical. So this one is gonna be up and down like this. So first I'm going to measure, so I know exactly where I'm gonna put the eye screws. And I'm doing, I'm going to do one inch at it. Okay, once you get that measuring done, then it's time to put in the eye screws. And I got ones that are, they're half inch and they came in an eight pack. But I'm doing five pictures, so I just had to get another pack. All right, so the method I found for this that worked the best is... So this is a screw, but I ended up just tapping it a few times with the hammer. So it made like a little hole and then I would finish screwing it in all the way. All right, then you just finish it up. Okay, so now that I have both of the eye screws in, it's time to cut the fishing line wire. And I don't, I don't worry too much about how big it is because I'll just trim it later. Okay, so what you do is you have your fishing line and then, where did I put them? Ah, so these really adorable mini clothespins, you'll wanna string two of them through the wire on the little, um, this little metal part, little metal circle. 
and I found these at Walmart, but also I, I feel like I've seen clear ones before. And I think clear ones would be the best option if you can find them, but you know, fluid ones work great too. So then once you string on those clothespins, you put, you tie the fishing line through the, the eye of that screw. And I just do a little double knot, which for some reason I'm having trouble doing right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I tie it there, then I put it through the other side and try to pull it really tight so it's nice and taut. All right, so then I tie this other, the last end. And then I cut off the excess wire. And ta-da, here it is. And then you can just clip the art right here at the bottom. All right. Hey, can you come with mommy? Thank you so much for watching. I hope this project goes well for you. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I also listed all the supplies that you need and kind of a shortened um, version of the instructions down there. Again, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all of that. All right, happy crafting, bye.